next problem in this exercise. Fifteenth one evaluate integral of 1 plus cos square x by 1 minus cos 2 x dx. See here 1 minus cos 2 x means 2 sin square x, 1 plus cos 2 x means 2 cos square x. So, 1 minus cos 2 x is replaced by 2 sin square x. Now, solution i is equal to integral 1 plus cos square x by 2 sin square x. Since 1 minus cos 2 x is equal to 2 sin square x. So, this we can write 1 by 2 sin square x plus this is cos square x by 2 sin square x dx. This is 1 by 2 cosecant square x plus 1 by 2 cot square x dx. Take off common. If you take out half common, again we have cosecant square x plus cot square x dx. Let us change this cot square x in terms of cosecant square x. So, 1 by 2 times integral of cosecant square x plus cosecant square x minus 1 dx this is 1 by 2 times integral 2 cosecant square x minus 1 dx. So, now 2 common 2 2 gets cancelled integral of cosecant square x dx minus of integral dx. This is minus cot x minus of times x plus constant of integration. Next problem that is sixteenth problem. Sixteenth one evaluate integral of root of one minus cos two x dx. See already here we have one minus cos two x is equal to two sin square x. Let us make use of this formula now solution i is equal to integral root of 2 sin square x dx. Since 1 minus cos 2 x is equal to 2 sin square x. What is the square root of 2 sin square x? That is root 2 sin x dx. Now, root 2 common, root 2 times integral of sin x dx. Integral of sin x dx is minus cos x. So, minus root 2 cos x plus constant of integration. So, now let us move to the next problem that is 17th problem. Seventeenth one evaluate integral of one by cos hx plus sin hx dx. Regarding this problem, reciprocal is there. Multiply both numerator and denominator with cos, H, cos hx minus sin hx. Let us see, let us verify what do we get it. So, multiply both numerator and denominator with cos hx 
minus sin hx let us multiply. So, now i becomes like this integral cos hx minus sin hx sorry 1 by cos hx plus sin hx multiplied with cos hx minus sin hx by cos hx minus sin hx dx this into 1. So, integral cos hx minus sin hx by a plus b into a minus b cos h square x minus sin h square x dx. In circular functions cos square x plus sin square x is equal to 1 whereas, in hyperbolic functions cos h square x minus sin h square x is 1. So, we have cos h square x minus sin h square x is equal to 1. So, this is equal to now we write integral cos h x minus sin h x by 1 d x. This is nothing but integral of cos h x minus sin h x d x integral of cos h x d x minus integral of sin h x d x. This is sin h x and this is cos h x plus constant of integration. Next problem integral 1 by 1 plus cos x dx. So, let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 minus cos x. So, i is equal to integral 1 by 1 plus cos x multiplied with 1 minus cos x by 1 minus cos x dx. So, now this equals to 1 minus cos x by a plus b into a minus b. So, we get 1 minus cos square x. We know that 1 minus cos square x is equal to sin square x. So, this is replaced by sin square x. So, this is equal to integral 1 minus cos x by sin square x dx. Now, this is integral 1 by sin square x minus cos x by sin square x dx. This we can write integral cosecant square x minus this can be written 1 by sin x into cos x by sin x dx. So, this is integral cosecant square x dx minus integral 1 by sin x is cosecant x. What is the value of cos x by sin x? That is cot x. So, cosecant x cot x dx. We know integral of cosecant square x dx is minus cot x, whereas integral of cosecant x cot x dx is minus cosecant x, but already we have minus, minus into minus plus. So, plus cosecant x, this can be written cosecant x minus cot x plus constant of integration.